So it's seven in the morning, day 215. But the, the day is officially October 1st, which means we're essentially, it's the last month of school because we end on the 27th of this month. So the end is in sight. Handsome young buck. Watch how quick it bounces into action, Ivan. Watch this. The grind is, you know what, it's the marathon, it's like you're in mile 23. So the finish line is within proximity, but you're on fumes a little bit and you're doing everything you can to sort of get there. And it sounds like a weird thing, but it really is the mental and it's the accumulation. I mean, we've been here since February. We, we have to stop talking now. You can obviously tell what that guy's gonna do to us. Trevor, bound. graduated to what we call uh, the big eye sides. 25 years. Uh, yeah. These are, this is your regular side. This is what you this is what you're used to. And now at 43 I've graduated to these. I'm a very anyway. There's the older two, me and Bobby, thank you very much. I love these words. But you know really I mean it's it's you know sometimes you know I'll sense that you know he's having a hard time with the scene and you know, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll pull him aside. Snap out of it. I'll pull him aside Dude, and I'll be like, you know, Louis, you, you can't just, slack like this. This next time, this next take, I mean, yeah, pay attention. You know, just wake up. This is acting 101 here. You know, you, <laughs> let me. You know, having switched my name, I really wanted to fight for the and introducing Louis Forever credit, but <laughs> I should have done that. Yeah, <laughs> that would have been awesome. Fresh face. Yeah. Is there a Stargate in here? Still? There it is. Wow, that's trippy, right? That's the Atlanta Stargate. Wow, this is a pretty cool set. So what was this? This is the home base. Let's go look at the Stargate because I think this Stargate is smaller. The SGU is bigger. The SGU is smaller. SGU is smaller? This one is small. This one is larger than the SGU one is. Really? So the Atlantis, Atlantis, we learned something. Atlantis had the biggest Stargate. That's correct. There's a joke there. Because without the SGU one and without the Atlantis, there would be no SGU. So the reality is it's kind of neat to be involved with the bigger picture, a 15 year franchise and you're like the third installment up. I, I did like the SG-1 show. I really dug their chemistry. So I'm, I'm excited to work with, with Jenks and, and, and Richard, you know, and I get to play the Colonel. Uh, so they've called me up to set now. For me, my mom, who didn't speak a word of English, used to always watch Richard Dean Anderson's MacGyver and then Stargate. Going, now that, he's like a warm bonito. He's like a warm nice. She would love him. She was always like, he's a handsome, now that's a man, he's a handsome. So it's really cool for me, A, and B, you're really dealing with almost like the emblem of the Stargate thing, it's him. He's the man who made it all happen. He had that persona and that charisma that no one else can do, so. I'm really like thrilled to be working with him. So here I am on the set of the original SG-1 show. This apparently was the original set with this. This was the, the main office. And I feel like I'm in the scene with the General O'Neill and Shanks. And I'm sitting there doing like I'm, I'm doing a guest spot. Because I may have done 18 episodes and I'm bitching about being tired. These guys did like 10 seasons. I'm going to go over there and try to pretend like see if, we, you know, see if they can embrace me at all as you know, one of the guys and see how that works. You know, you know respectfully. I, I got, I got nothing. So one of the highlights in, in, in any day of an actor, person doing this thing is the, the trip to the craft service table. So uh, I think we should do that now. This is the part that's bad because it's very easy to gain weight very, very quickly on any show. Everyone look, gum, little gum pieces, cookies, jello, granola bars, vitamins. He sets it up good. So, not everyone knows about this particular section, but it's my favorite. Look. Ooh. Love, love the chocolate. But it's a daily ritual. I come in here and I pick up a couple. Hey, what's going on? Hey, how are you? Just Louis, uh, nothing Louis, to see you, here. Please keep moving. Louis. I got caught in the act on Louis, camera. Are you working today? Yes, sir. Good. Okay. Good. Yeah, I just I'm wearing this <laughs> civilian stuff. I'm usually in, in the uniform. This is a daily ritual. Poop Patrol. 
They're both my dogs, Charlie and Giancarlo. Charlie's a golden doodle. Giancarlo's a pug of poo. Look at his face. Giancarlo, come, good boy. Sit. Sit. Good boy, stay. Look at that face. Charlie, sit. Oh. Oh, he's a good boy. Oh, you gotta bring your family with you a little bit because uh, you're here so much that uh, these guys are like our set mascots. Come on, Charlie, Giancarlo. This is my room. I was not thinking I'd be here as much, so when I embraced the fact that I would be, I try to make it more homey. So I'm surrounded by my children, the loves of my life, my friends and family. That's that wall. My mama. This is my mama. This is why I changed my name. She passed last year. That's my my soul right there. She is passion personified. And so, so yeah, your basic room. You got a little bathroom back here, a little couch. You get your TV, little desk. Very basic, almost like a dorm. Oh, now we want to play some, we're going to shoot some hoops. Let's shoot some hoops. So I'm going to go back old school, 1984. There's a man in front of me, and this is the move. Mofo! It's not showing off when you're like mid 40s. Well, here's, this is the vehicle to and from work. The very sexy machine. Oh. Woo! <laughs> hey. All right, peace.